says it's the end of time And the Mississippi River, she's a gold grind Is up and the stock market's down and you only get Howdy. My name's Blake Herrera. I am currently a software engineering intern at Meta in New York City, and uh, this is my first week. I'm not sure if I'm going to make one of these every week. Probably not, because I'm sure I'm going to get busy with other stuff. Uh, but I'm going to try to document my experience as best I can while I'm down here, and uh, yeah. So I flew in to JFK Airport on Saturday the 21st. Uh, very pleasant flight. I flew JetBlue. Really nice plane. They had um, these little TVs on the back of the seats in front of you. Uh, I watched Pulp Fiction on the way over there. So I had never actually seen Pulp Fiction before. Um, great movie, by the way. Great movie. Um, it was in the JetBlue in-flight entertainment like recommended section. So I was like, oh, okay. This is probably a cool movie. Won't be weird to watch in public on a plane at all in front of other people and children uh, but boy i was very wrong um would not recommend watching next to a toddler um it felt very inappropriate and very awkward but live and learn i suppose uh, i will not make that mistake again so once i landed i took the longest uber ride of my life oh my goodness i mean it was about two hours cost about two hundred dollars i have truly learned to appreciate any uber taxi or lyft driver in new york city i don't know how you do it my goodness, the amount of aggressive drivers on those streets is insane. I salute you. I'm currently staying at a place called The Beacon in New Jersey City. A uh, beautiful view of uh, southern Manhattan. You can see the World Trade Center Tower. Anyways, uh, one thing about The Beacon that I was not aware of before moving here. Uh, it's actually allegedly haunted. Uh, it used to be uh, a hospital, actually, during the Great Depression. Going to the laundry room. I was. It's a dead zone. Reception is terrible and calls go away for all eternity. I have the Verizon network. You're good. That's cool. We test our network every day to be America's most reliable. Verizon Wireless. It's the network. Is somebody in the room with us right now? Okay, we're good. So uh, sketch location aside, welcome to our room at the Beacon here. Uh, I have a roommate, his name's Shay, he's a pretty cool dude. Anyways, here's the kitchen. Uh, we got ourselves nice appliances, microwave, refrigerator, nice little fruit bowl, full oven and everything. Uh, all fully stocked with silverware and everything you need. Uh, nice desk, TV in this little living area, got a sofa, and I'll take you over to my bedroom here in a second, here we go. So in here, you know, you got a sink, nice hu huge mirror, huge mirror, you can see me with my little Stormtrooper shirt in a mirror. Anyways, uh, shower, standard shower, it's a little short, um, I'm six foot two, and it does not come up above my head, so that's, that's a little annoying, but anyways, uh, here's my closet, got my Windows XP t-shirt in there, pretty good size closet, uh, definitely a big fan. Uh, here's the bedroom, queen size bed. Of course, I had to bring my, my Longhorn pillow and my Texas flag with me. Uh, and it comes with a nice little TV. So yeah, pretty nice little room. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today I want to be a part of it New York, New York These vagabond shoes Are longing to stray Right through the very heart of it Let me, let me bone Salamis ancestor Yo, yo, what's up, back. son? What's up, kid? What's going on, kid? Yo, man, I'm just doing my thing, man. Hold up, man. I'm trying to run out of this room. Yo, 
The New York Times side Staying alive was no job Had second hands Moms bounced on old men So then we moved to Shallon Land A young youth You're rocking the go tooth Low goose Only way I begin to G York Was drug loot And let's start it like this son Rolling with this one And that one Pulling out gats for fun But it was just a dream For the team Who was a fiend Started smoking moves at 16 And running up in gates And doing it by high stakes Making my way on fire It's up to you, New York, New York, New York. Good morning. Welcome to the 770 Meta New York City office. Thank you for joining me on this journey. To start out, you're greeted with this like super fancy little elevator that has like a little tablet, um, which is like really weird. Like there's no buttons on the inside of the elevator, which um, you see like here. So like if you just get in, you're like, oh yeah, I'll just hit the button to get on the floor that like I'm trying to go to. Like you can't do that. Anyways, uh, welcome to the 12th floor where the uh, main cafeteria Desimones is located. Uh, breakfast here is pretty good. Um, it's just like standard, just like, like little tots. Here's me just awkwardly getting some tots and filming at the same time. Um, but they got like, you know, just like tots, sausage, bacon, eggs, uh, pretty good stuff. Um, the actual cafeteria itself is like huge. Like there's tons of space. You know, like I said, like the food's pretty good. They got a little ping pong table too next to the uh, cafeteria. Anyways, here's me walking up the stairs up to the 13th floor where my desk is located. And here it is. Welcome to my desk. Uh, featuring my orange juice. Now, the open office concept was something that, like, I literally thought it was going to be the worst thing I've ever done. But it's actually not as bad as you think. I, coming from someone who, like, uh, is used to just, like, working in, like, a private enclosed space, little dungeon layer, um, definitely I was kind of scared to, like, have um, people just, like, all around, um, you know, like, talking and everyone can look over your shoulder and see what you're doing but it's really not as bad as you think it's going to be if you're definitely uh, anxious about that like i was anyways uh, if you ever do get uh tired of the open office concept uh here's an even more open office uh located on the roof and uh my goodness look at that beautiful view of the new york city skyline um they also have bees up there which is a little different because they have like a, a lot of plants and guys you know they have them to pollinate all the, the flowers and everything uh, so that's a little different but anyways amenities here's a micro kitchen and the micro kitchens are super fancy they have all this like extremely like barista looking coffee equipment and if you're not cool enough to use the fancy coffee equipment they already have some that's pre-made yeah, anyways here's snacks uh, i got like a video of it like way after the work day ended um same with the drinks it's usually like fully stocked and not like empty like that i just got it at the very end of the day also they have a gelato bar on the 14th floor and a game room on the 15th uh, super nice game. They got DDR machine, pool table, foosball table. Uh, they got um, like TVs with switches on them. They have these really cool vending machines too. Uh, I really can't understate how nice this office is. I mean, you really feel like you're almost working in like a museum. They have all these like pictures that look like art exhibits. Like it's it's really crazy looking. They have these like just random stuff like like this little um, like red tube looking thing that's like a couch just like in the middle of the office so there's just like lots of cool and they also have these things like these little like um diorama things uh with like little people that are like models of the office anyways they also have these focus areas that are like little mini libraries um that are really cool they're real comfy 
Um, definitely if you're just kind of looking for a quiet place to kind of get away from people. Anyways, the all-gender restroom. Welcome to the Blue State Bathroom Experience. Very nice. They give out lots of free amenities, uh, free deodorant to rid yourself of that engineer stank. Uh, also disposable toothbrushes, so uh, that's pretty cool. All right, fun NYC vacation stuff. Went to Carlos Bakery. Extremely disappointing, uh, which broke my heart, but um, yeah, it really just was not that good. Also went to Macy's, not just any Macy's, but the Macy's, like the Thanksgiving Day Parade one. Uh, they had these really cool wooden escalators that felt very, like, European for some reason. I don't know. But just, like, um, very antique. Anyways, also went to Lazara's Pizza, which was a 9.3 from Mr. Dave Portnoy himself. Yep. 9.3. Um, would I give it a 9.3? No, I would not. Uh, but it was very good. I'd say a, so a solid 8. A solid, solid 8. Um, after that, walked around Times Square for a while. Here's some uh, dramatic footage. Very cyberpunk. And uh, to make things even more cyberpunk, it also started pouring down rain while we were in Times Square. Which I believe we got some footage of that. Also, I saw one of the uh, Line Friends store. It was kind of cool. It had this big old bear. Uh, yeah, here's some footage of it raining. And uh, in the middle of this storm, we saw a familiar sign, that being Krispy Kreme Donuts. This was the nicest Krispy Kreme I've ever seen by far. Um, they also had this $10 donut called the Big Apple Donut. Okay, Times Square Big Apple Donut Unboxing. Whoa. Get a good shot of that in there. My goodness. I feel bad eating it. Here we go. Let's eat it. Okay, so it's like, it's like an apple, like frosting kind of thing on the top. But it's got like the filling, like the Christmas Kreme filling on the inside. Quite tasty. I mean, for $10.99 for one donut, was it worth it? I don't know. Look at that box. I mean, come on. Times Square Christmas Kreme. <laughs> All right. Donut review. 